I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice test question for you. You need to factor trinomial 6x squared minus 5xy minus 21y squared. You can pause the video, factor, and then look into my suggestion. Now here, the numbers are slightly bigger than what we are used to. We have 6x squared minus 5xy minus 21y squared. Now to factor this, we need to find sum and product which gives us this kind of a combination where product, let's say P and Q are the two numbers, where product is uh, 6 times minus 21 and the sum of two numbers is uh, minus 5, right? Now the whole thing here is how to get this combination. So that is what I'm going to discuss with you in this particular video. So what strategy we have is we know that we need product of 6 and minus 21. That means one of the numbers is negative. The bigger number is negative. The smaller one is positive. That is why when you add, you get minus 5. So let's begin by writing down the factors. Factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Factors of 21 are 3 and 7. Right? 3 and 7. Now somehow, when you multiply these, we'll always get the product right. But we need to get combination, which when added or subtracted will give us minus 5. So from here, if I combine these two terms, which is 9, have a look. If I combine these two terms, this is 9, and if I combine these two terms, it is 14. So what do I get? I get 14 and I get 9. So, And if I have to get minus 5, I could consider minus 14 as one number and plus 9. When you add them, we get minus 5. So those are the two numbers which will work for us. Important thing about this strategy is that you don't really have to multiply 6 and 21. Get a bigger number and think in those terms. If you factor, you are working with smaller numbers, right? So that is very helpful. So now we will continue with factoring process. We'll write minus 5xy as combination of minus 14xy and plus 9xy, right? And here we have minus 21y squared. So remember to use y also along with it. Strictly speaking, the product which we are looking for is 6 times 21y square, right? It's actually times y square. So we have to use y with each term so that we get y square, right? Now we can do group factoring. x and uh, 2 is common, so we get 2x common. We have 3x minus 7y. In this case, we have 3 common and y common, 3y. So again, we get 3x minus 7y. Now we can take 3x minus 7y as common. And what we get is 2x plus 3y. So that is how we can factor a trinomial, which is slightly bigger numbers, right? So we could write this as 6x squared minus 5xy minus 21y squared as equal to 3x minus 7y times 2x plus 3y as our answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.